Okay. I know it was difficult for you to come in here hat in hand. That's not the kind of upbringing, I guess is the word I'm looking for. It's not the kind of man you are. I understand that. I'm not looking to humiliate you or exact a price in any way, so why don't you just apologize? We'll call it water under the dam and we'll go about our business. Excuse me, what the fuck? What? What the fuck are you talking about? Claire George said you were coming in here to apologize. No, I, I'm supposed to come in here so you could apologize to me. According to whom? Claire George. You told me to go fuck myself. I'm supposed to apologize to you? Also, water goes over a dam and under a bridge, you poncy schoolboy. Clearly, there's been a miscommunication between Claire George and somebody. Excuse me. Yes. Does this look all right? It's fine. Thank I you. I can sand it down a little. I, I don't know. No fucking idea who this yeah. guy is. He is here to fix the glass that you broke the last time you were here. Could you just excuse us for a second? Yes. Yeah. Tell me to go fuck myself and I'm supposed to apologize. Yeah. You break my window. I'm supposed the to apologize. The Helsinki job was mine. The Helsinki job was not yours. If it was yours, you'd be in Helsinki. Alan Wolf stood in the office. Alan Wolf is no longer yeah, the director. It was on the Alan books. Wolf is no longer the director of European operations. He does not make those appointments I do. Promises were made. Not by me. I've been with the company for 24 years. I was posted in Greece for 15. Papandreou wins that election if I don't help the junta take him prisoner. I've advised and armed the Hellenic army. I've neutralized champions of communism. I've spent the past three years learning Finnish, which should come in handy here in Virginia, and I'm never ever sick at sea. So I want to know why I'm not going to be your Helsinki station chief. Your course. Excuse me. For Helsinki, I need someone with diplomatic skills. You don't have them. Is that right? That is right, and I don't know why the hell I didn't fire you when you broke my fucking window. Oh, yes, sure you do, Cravely. Look, Gus. Yeah, you're fucking Roger's fiance, and you know I know. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. Yeah, yeah, you're dignifying her in the ass at the Jefferson Hotel, room 1210. But let me ask you, the 3,000 agents Turner fired, was that because they lacked diplomatic skills as well? You're referring to Admiral Stansfield Turner? Yeah, the 3,000 agents, each and every goddamn one of them, first or second generation Americans, was that because they lacked the proper diplomatic skills? Or did Turner not think it was a good idea to have spies who could speak the same language as the people they're fucking spying on? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but you can hardly blame the director for questioning the loyalty to America of people that are just barely Americans in the first place. Yeah, well, I'd like to take a moment to review the several ways in which you're a douchebag. Get the fuck out of my office. Yes, sir. Or I end your career, asshole. Yes, sir. Yeah, my friend, I'm gonna need you for a second. <laughs> God damn it! My loyalty? For 24 years, people have been trying to kill me. People know how. Now, do you think that's because my dad was a Greek soda pop maker, or do you think that's because I'm an American spy? Go fuck yourself, you fucking child. How was I? 